Hello, welcome to the AEW Review with Ellie Langford and Wrestling Network. How are both of you doing today? Hello, Tom. I'm doing good. Good. Wrestling Network? Doing fantastic, mate. I've got to time out my first person today. And now oh, you say he's got, an art, he's got a weapon set of dildos to attack him with. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually timed out plenty of people now. I can't even remember most yeah. of them. Um, okay, we start off with the tag team match. I don't know if this was for the tiles. I don't think it was. But it was Young Bucks versus Top Flight, who generally impressed me in this match. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. the Young Bucks managed to pick up the victory, but generally massively impre impressed by Top Flight. Yeah, they, were, they actually was pretty good in this match, actually, no one no lie. Mm -hmm. It impressed me too. Gonna give this match a 3.5 out of 5. I'd maybe even give it a 3.2. I heavily enjoyed this match. No, that's the network. I don't know what I'd give it. Top Flight, though, impressed. Haven't seen them on AEW Dark yet. Apparently they've been on there. Is that true? Uh, that's Anybody what they sh Dark? showed, so I'm going to guess. So I don't watch Dark that much, though. Yeah, apparently yeah. they got they got hired because the Young Bucks saw one of their highlight reels on Twitter, was it? Or YouTube or something like that. But they're really impressed, and I love the fact that AEW give talent like this, who probably wouldn't have otherwise had a shot, a shot. I really, really like that. Great match from Top Flight. They've impressed. Yeah. They need to yeah. be in the running for some kind of tag team title match in the Definitely. future. I'll give it a four. Four out of five. Damn. Uh, and then yeah, Top Flight got attacked good, um, by Jack Evans and Angelico, but the Young Bucks chased them away. That was good. We then got uh, Vegas yeah. with Blackjack and Drinking and the, all the Inner Circle. And then there was a mat there was bloody everything going on in these. Seriously. Yeah. It gets crazier. But yeah, they're just drinking a little bit and then they drink pure alcohol apparently. Or something like ninety percent proof. <laughs> Which I don't think they really? did, because they'd be dead if they did that. <laughs> then does anyone want to tell us about Moxie's promo? I think Wrestling Network should take the to take about this because he loved this promo. Ah, oh, we need to talk about the Vegas thing first, mate. I love when MJF and uh, Jericho try and one up each other every single time. <laughs> no, I want bourbon, no vodka, no tequila. I love it. I love yes, it. <laughs> they definitely they are. They were some of the best segments for tonight, especially the one. Well, it gets better. We'll talk about them as they come along. But yes, Moxie got a promo. So let's talk about that. Oh, this promo was great. This promo was absolutely phenomenal. One of Moxley's better promos in AEW. And we have an announcement. Apparently, I thought it was confirmed a few weeks ago. It was speculated. It's now confirmed. Moxley is going to be a dad. So congratulations to him and Renee Young. Yes, congratulations yeah. from yeah. All Things Wrestling and everybody here to John Moxley and Renee Young. Or Renee, whatever her name is now. I think it's Renee Paquette, is it? I don't even know. But yeah, it was a very good promo. Um, from Moxley. Very good promo. We then yeah, get really good then we get to uh, Wrestling Network's favorite match of the night: Kip Sabian versus Orange Cassidy. Get lost. This match was quite boring. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it was. I'd give it a two point two. Just I'll give it a two out of five, below average. Yeah, I'd give it a two two uh, out of five as well. Just. Is yeah below average in my opinion. Agreed, mate. It, these are the kind of matches that they need to stop doing if they really want to keep the audience retention. Because just as easily as that, I could just have switched the channel and seen what NXT's doing. To be honest, what NXT exactly. was doing was not much better than this. To be honest, it was a still a shit match on their end. Exactly, but if I'm not watching NXT and they're putting shite matches like this on AEW, I'm gonna want to turn over and see what's going on on NXT. So it's just the way it is. Zero out of ten for this match. Boring. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty boring. We then have more Vegas stuff. We just see Alvis to start with, which was cool. <laughs> the yes. real Elvis, totally. <laughs> yeah, yes. the real one. Uh, then we have a contract signing segment before we get to the better part of the year, Vegas. John Moxley does not come out because he's been attacked. And it couldn't have been Kenny Omega because Kenny was already out there. Kenny signs the contracts and leaves. 
Very interesting. Who do we think attacked him? Indeed. Could be um, Lance Archer, since he technically still has a title shot. Yeah, it could be. It could be a uh, Rocky <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then in Vegas they replicate kind of um, Hangover because Jericho wakes up with the Alvis impersonator in bed and then we see uh, Sammy Guevara passed out in the fountain then we see MJF having Sammy was here written all over his face then we find chickens and then we find Hornswoggle in a diaper in the closet in the yeah. wardrobe whatever you call it I think that was that was the end segment of it, but seriously, I'm going to give the whole thing like a nine out of ten for the whole segment. It was amazing. Yeah, it was it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, solid. Yeah, probably <laughs> nine out of ten for me as well. I just loved it. I'm undecided. I can't. It's it's an acid trip, but I can't tell if it's a good acid trip or a bad acid trip. It was a very good acid trip. It didn't take away <laughs> from the show, did it? Really? That's the thing. You got to look at it and think: Did yeah. this segment act? take away from the wrestling show or enhance it and this it was one silly but it was a good kind of silly so for that I'll give it a good rating I'll give it uh, go around where you put 8.5 out of 10 nice what uh, question yeah. was it better than the dinner segment yes okay wow. we've got Elvis and Jericho lying in bed together and then Horns <laughs> Woggle in a dive what more do you want did they smash it <laughs> another question uh yes yes <laughs> the the dinner off segment camera, was amazing, but this this took it up the next notch. Okay, fair enough. Then we go to Pac versus Blade. It was a very, very good competitive match between these two. Yeah. Pac did manage to finally make Blade tap out after a very brutal contest. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a decent match. I'm more interested in what happened after the match. Though. Yeah. Quickly rate the match. I'd give it a three out of five, above average. Yeah, I think it was a pretty solid match. I'd give it maybe two point eight, maybe mm. above decent. average. Two point five for me. Yeah, and then Pat grabs a mic, starts talking to Eddie Kingston. Butcher Blade attacking from behind. At which point, Ray Phoenix shows up and helps. But obviously Eddie and his team managed to take them down. Penta then comes down with a chair, teasing, hitting his brother, but then turns it on to Eddie and his crew. Death Triangle have reunited. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yay. About time. About time. Pax back. Yeah. Death Triangle are back. Who's not happy about it? Nobody. Everybody's happy about uh, it. Death Triangle, stuff. we didn't get to see much from them because of the global pandemic, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do with them as a group. And now they've got Eddie Kingston and Butcher and Blade to rival with, so it's not like they're going to have nobody. They've now got a big feud with Eddie Kingston and had to go on. Yeah. Do you reckon they do that six-man tag at, what's it called, Winterfest or whatever they're calling it? Is that what they're calling weeks. the 2nd of December show? I think it's a sick for December. It's either Winter Games or Winter Fest. I didn't really catch it, so mm. someone, if you know that information, leave it in the it comments. It will definitely but... not have. It won't be having their war games. I tell you that now. You thought it might have been the war games, but no. That, that's just going to be what they probably call this episode, Winter Fest or something. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, name. That six man tag on that show though is the point so. I'm trying to make. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, then we go to Jade attacking Brandy while. Uh, uh, Vicky and Nyla Rose were shouting at referees for some reason. But yeah, Jade doesn't look like she's finished with Brandy yet. I, I am so confused. Isn't Brandy and Vicky and Nyla supposed to be the heels? But I she's don't... getting attacked by the face and. I don't know. I generally yeah, have I've no idea what's going either. on with this feud. This always seems to be with the brandy ones. They're all just over the all over the place with my, when it's brandy booking the stuff for herself. Exactly, couldn't agree more. But let me go to our, the best match on the night. Definitely the best match of the night. Serena Deeb versus Thunder Rosa for the NWA Women's Championship. This match was fantastic. Yeah, 
So yeah, what what would you guys rate it? Uh, I can't even remember the match to be honest. So. <laughs> if it's Fonda Rosa versus Serena Deeb for the NWA women's belt Serena Deeb re did retain in a very very big com competitive and also if you watch the match again uh, Thunder Rosa shows you all that she has to show for a brief moment she bears it all she bloody does <laughs> she, like, Jesus Christ, Christ man. she was spread out fucking full eagle in the middle of the ring and basically you can see um a lot. What God bestowed upon her. In yes. The center of the ring. Um, what? I don't recommend going back and watching it. It wasn't that impressive, but. Um, definitely not. But just, just be keep in mind when you watch the match. To make sure your parents aren't sitting next to you. The match was impressive, though. Very good match. Far and away the best match of the night. Definitely. I would give this match a four out of five. Well, what happened? <laughs> Serena had. Uh, Thunder Rosa had a leg spread and the tr uh, uh, tr shorts she was wearing slightly adjusted. She had a lip slip, basically. Oh, oh okay. Yes. <laughs> but yes, this match was fantastic. After uh, Rosa attacked Britt Baker. No. So I guess uh... we're going to have Serena uh, Thunder Rosa versus Britt Baker, which that should be a good match. I wouldn't mind. So yeah, what do you rate the match wrestling network out of five? I need to give Ellie a chance first. Oh, I don't remember the match. Well, you don't remember the match. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> I think Ellie was dead uh, at this point, laughing to herself. I actually yeah, think I was, yeah. It was yeah. around this where you started, like, creasing for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, match gets a 5 out of 5 because I was laughing. Wow. Damn. I'm afraid you've ever Perfect rated anything match. on here. <laughs> No, I actually gave 5 out of 5 to Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso, man. Yes, yeah, so, so did I. I much deserved okay. it. No, this doesn't get a 5 out of 5. It gets a 4.5 out of 5. Damn, right? I gave it a 4. Yeah. So we got a 4, a 5, and a 4.5. We then go to nice. our main event. Cody and Darby Allen versus Brian Cage and Ricky Starks. The match was alright. Team Taz won. It was after the match that was more important. They beat down yeah. Cody and Darby. Will Hobbs run down with a steel chair. He then nails Cody with it and joins Team Taz. To be fair, the guy just looks like a heel. Yeah. What do you think, Wrestling Network? I'm trying to figure out where they're going with this because now they have a full Team Taz. But they don't have a full team Cody. It's just Cody and Darby Allen. So does Cody join up with QT and Dustin Rhodes? Potentially. I would like to see that. No, this was a... It was an okay match. Very, very surprising finish. I really thought Cody was going to turn heel tonight, if I'm being honest with you. Mm. And I even said that. But Will Hobbs turning heel. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. Joining Team Taz is going to help him a lot, the same way it's helped Ricky Starks and Brian Cage get over. I'm looking forward to see what they do with it. Yeah. De I'm definitely a fan of the Will Hobbs. But then again, there is his tag team partner, Sean Dean, who's on uh, AW Dark. He should come, He could cut, join up with Cody and Darby. That could happen. Yeah. Sean Dean uh -huh. and Will Hobbs were a tag team, so that could happen. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. But the match, I'd just give a 2.75 out of 5. Slightly above average. Just nothing to write home about. It was more to get to the point of the heel turn, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. But overall, this show was was well above NXT tonight. Yeah, it was. Always, I'd I give this show NXT, a 7.5 out of 10. Pretty good rain, to be honest. That's a good I... show. I'd actually maybe, yeah, give it maybe a 7 out of 10. Okay, maybe. that's the network. What would you... We didn't give our grades for the last match. Did you watch it? The last match oh, I gave 2.75. Yeah, Ellie didn't know. Did you watch it? Uh, I I basically fell asleep for the last match, so... <laughs> Fair enough, mate. I give it a 3 <laughs> out of 5 to make things simple. Don't want to sum it up too much. <laughs> what did you give the whole show, though? 
I get I give a seven out of ten. Not too bad. Yeah, seven out of ten. Three sevens. Yeah, seven seven and seven point five. Oh look, we're in Vegas. Yes. Yes, definitely check out AEW if you are going to check out one of the shows this week. Don't recommend NXT that much. Not much interesting happened, in my opinion. Yeah. It's still better than last week, though. You smashed it. Didn't watch NXT, but from what I've seen on Twitter, the only good thing was the whole Finn Balor thing. The main event was good, because obviously it was Io Shirai versus Rhea Ripley. Oh, I heard that was fantastic. I heard it was that a really good match. Oh. Again, I think Serena Deeb versus uh, Thunder Rosa was a better match. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm hearing it could have been a five star, um, EO and Rhea. And then again, I can't say I watched it enough to give it to give a full honest rating. I gave it. I think I just uh, gave it like a three point five. Because from what I watched, it was a good match, but I I didn't fully pay attention to the match. Yeah, I think you give it about 3.5. Yes, but anyway, thank you for watching this review. Like and share, subscribe, and we shall see you all for SmackDown. Peace out.